Six figure salary. I know that excites you. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through my salary sure. as a six figure earner using my pay slip and i will be giving you bonus tip explaining pay scale superannuation salary sacrifice stay with me welcome friends today we're gonna to be diving deep into the world of no code tech career and i'm going to be sharing exactly what i make as a scrum master working here in australia so i'm going to give you a real example using my payslip my name is noah Oloja. i'm a career coach and a scrum master working here in australia full time and i help people who want to make meaningful career in tech get started it's easy top it method you can learn more about that later as we go along so let's dive in i'm going to be sharing exactly what the cost component that makes up my overall salary using my pay slip we're going to be talking about things like your pay scale superannuation and exactly what my hourly rate is working as a scrum master if this interests you please click on the like button subscribe and share with your friends all right so let's dive straight in using my pay slip i'm going to be looking at my system because yeah of course i want to show you the real things this is my pay slip for the month of february so as you can see um, i'm a full-time worker and my hourly rate is actually 71 dollars approximately so it's 71 dollars 7948 cents right those don't matter it matters when you um sum it up right but approximately my hourly rate is 71 dollars and then my annual rate is actually 140 thousand dollars plus super so the way australia run there's a super guarantee that every employer has to pay to all employees so um you have to really pay attention to this because if you get a job and they say hey we're gonna pay you 120 excluding super now that is a higher pay than when you get a job and they say we're gonna pay you 120k plus super it means that everything is encompassing they're gonna pay you your super out of the 120 pound which will reduce your take home at the end of the day all right let's dive in into the actual salary breakdown using my pay slip so in the month of feb basically you can see that i went on annual leave so i'm uh, using my hourly rates at 71 dollars you can see the calculation here summing it up to 1076 dollars and then my ordinary monthly pay which is the actual time i worked in the month is 132.50 hours calculated at 71 dollars approximately you know and um, gives me 9512 dollars now summing that my actual gross pay for the month of feb is eleven thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars sixty six cents right so gross pay means that i have not been taxed no deduction at this point now because of my pay scale so going back to the fact that i earn one forty thousand dollars annually my pay scale falls under scale two now so if you're like um there's a different pay scale according to australia taxation system um so if you earn zero to eighteen thousand approximately right you would not need to pay any tax but then anything i uh, you have to pay so it's, it's by scale you progressively pay tax so i'm on tax scale two which means that i am going to be deducted as you can see three thousand um seventy two dollars out of my monthly gross pay so that goes to the government right sad but yeah we all have to pay tax you know and then there's something called superannuation salary sacrifice so australian government encourages employees to actually put money away for their future self so you can effectively you know save for your future like add more money to your pension superannuation is like pension for those that are familiar with that system so essentially you're going to put money away with a company to help you invest you know for your future self when you're retired and you can get those money to survive at that stage so basically i'm putting extra uh, you can see here 600 dollars i'm putting that away as salary sacrifice basically so you can check with your employer if you if they offer salary sacrifice i really encourage it it's also very tax efficient so if you are a high earner according to the tax system i don't know if i am but anyway you can actually use this as a tax strategy as well so in terms of my own employee um my own gross payment um i actually get my net pay which is 
7,994.66 cents. So the actual money credited to my account every month is $7,994, which is not bad. You know, I know some of you may, you know, would have all think about this number differently. But for me, I think that, you know, talking about some of the perks is that you can get good enough salary and have all the flexibility, you know, freedom to do the things that you want and you really enjoy doing. You can innovate, you can spend time with your family. The job is such a high skill job in a way that you, you're doing jobs that matter, affecting millions, you're building products, making impact in the society. That gives you joy as well flexibility you can actually spend time with your family for example personal story you know when we were expecting our, our baby boy i made sure that i attended all the appointments now this was possible because i'm in a job where even if i'm working i can quickly take time off you know even during the day and speak to my colleague like i have to attend an appointment it won't be a problem flexibility is key another factor is factor we relocated recently and I didn't have to think about, you know, I need to get another job because again, I work remotely. So we just moved city. It was just about looking for housing, right? It wasn't about, okay, when we get to this new state, I need to start to look for another job, you know? So these specs are things that really gives you satisfaction and, you know, gives you that security and you can innovate, you know, you can do other things that you love, pursue your hobby, pursue your passion, you know, spend more time with family. What greater thing can you actually ask for? Now, away from that, still in the topic of superannuation, the government also has a law. Like, employers would have to pay you super guarantee of 11%, right? Basically, they have to pay 11% of your salary, whatever, maybe monthly or annually, into your designated um, super fund. So, the company that will actually manage this fund for you for the future. So, I think this is a very good system and make sure that, you know, when you're retired, um, you're not you're not at the mercy of anyone and depending on how much you worked you should have some money to sustain your life at that stage now if you want to know more about i can check the ato now, if this video is any value please smash the like button and subscribe turn on your notification bell for more videos like this please watch the next video i'm going to be talking about contract versus full-time employment which one should you go and what are the pros and cons so if this interests you and you want to stay in the know, please hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we publish this video. Thank you and see you in the next one.